Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this office cabin interior over here. So now we'll be continuing it. So very first of all, I'll just duplicate few of the things which are required over here. So let's just put something over here. Let's just take a box. So let's just select this books over here. I'll just duplicate it. I'll just shuffle this a bit up over here. All right. So now we'll go over here and we'll model this table. So how you are going to model this table? That's your desk. So let's take a line tool over here. I'll take a line tool. I'll push this till here. So take a vertex, select the vertex and let's give a bit of fillet to it. After that select this spline and let's give a bit of outline over here so slightly give a bit of outline slightly just push it inside and if required i'll just select this I'll slightly shuffle it. So select this width, length and width over here. Slightly just push it up. And let's give a extrude modifier. So slightly give a bit of extrude modifier over here. So convert to editable poly. After that, let's go over here, go to the top view. So let's take again a box over here. Slightly just push this up. So convert to editable poly. So let's take a swift loop. One over here, one over here. After that, select this polygons. Slightly just extrude this up till here let's click ok after that go to this top view okay it's shown over here that there is a drawer over here so let's just zoom it so take a cylinder so push it down increase a bit of its radius so convert to editable poly slightly give a bit of bevel push it down 
click OK. Shuffle it down. Go to the top view. And let's just duplicate that. So again I'll select this. So I'll be duplicating it. So go to this top view over here. And I'll just make a duplicate. Before that, I can just go over here. Go into this view over here. Let's take a box. So increase its height a bit. So select this whole thing over here. Go to the top view and duplicate it. Copy this. After that go into this view again take a box just create a box over here and increase its height after that again select this So I'll go into this angle snap toggle, I'll rotate it, I'll make a copy of it, so you can slightly just push it much further over here. And same make a copy of it till here. So, what I can do over here is like slightly I can shuffle it a bit inside and make it a bit small alright so again go over here duplicate it rotate it go again to the top view convert to editable poly select the vertices and slightly shuffle it inside the same way so I'll just select it and I'll just give a color to it if you want I can slightly push it a bit inside from here and from here select this All right. So 
that can be done so again select this vertices and slightly I'll just push it inside So keep on adjusting this stuff in this way. So slightly reduce its width over here. Slightly reduce its width. So save your file over here. So I'll go over here, let's again take a swift loop over here, I'll put one swift loop over here, so shuffle this. here looks much better now so select the vertices and I'll again go over here select this and slightly give one connect So I'll place this connect till here. Again select this, give one more connect and this will go till up. Save your file again. So select this polygons. And let's give a bit of bridge over here. Alright. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed yet. So thanks for watching this tutorial.